Gargoyles Quest 2 was released very late in the NES's lifetime, October 1992 to be exact, which was over a year after the SNES was released in North America. That means very few people took notice of this fantastic game, which is a shame and one of the main reasons why it fetches insane prices on eBay. Well, for a complete in-box copy that is. It was also quite unique in that the first part, Gargoyles Quest, was released on the original Game Boy some two years earlier in 1990. Not many franchises started on the Game Boy and then moved on to the NES. Regardless, Gargoyles Quest 2, much like the first game in the series, is a true hidden gem and one of the NES's best. Fans of retro NES games should most certainly check this game out as soon as they can. Gargoyles Quest 2 is a prequel to the Game Boy game, taking place several years earlier and dealing with a lot of items, places, and characters from the original. Players take on the role of Firebrand, a gargoyle, whose home is destroyed by the Black Light. His mission is to unravel the mysteries of the Black Light and restore balance to the Ghoul Realm. Now if you skip my review of the original game, Firebrand is actually a character from another hugely successful and popular Capcom franchise, Ghosts and Goblins. Remember that annoying as hell red gargoyle from the first Ghosts and Goblins game? Well that's exactly who you play as, except this time he's the hero of the tale. I always enjoyed how Capcom tied these games together because I was a huge fan of the original Ghosts and Goblins back in the day. The gameplay is something special for its time, it's sort of a mix between an action platformer and an RPG, and I always felt that this was Capcom's experimental project. In the original Game Boy game, players moved around a world map that worked pretty much exactly like an RPG complete with random encounters. You'd move from one village to another, to a cave, to a dungeon, etc, collecting power-ups from defeating bosses. What made the game so unique was that Firebrand could fly for a short period of time as well as cling on walls, and he had a lot of projectile attacks. And this made for some highly original gameplay and platforming challenges. These abilities could be upgraded as well, again, after defeating certain enemies or completing certain sections of the story. Eventually, Firebrand would become a true force to be reckoned with. Now the sequel here plays pretty much exactly the same as the original, except that the random encounters have been completely removed and Firebrand now walks a hell of a lot faster than he did in the original Game Boy game in the overhead perspective mode, or the exploration mode. Like the original game, once you enter an action area, the gameplay switches from an overhead perspective to classic 2D action platforming at its best, complete with the same flying upgrade system. It's a highly challenging game that will put your skills to the test, but also equally rewarding. Once Firebrand has all his abilities maxed out and has all the various weapons available, you truly feel as though you've evolved as a character. One of the only complaints I have with Gargoyles Quest 2 is that it doesn't have a battery backup for your save files. That means you have to jot down a password. And that's a little bit annoying because most of the games at this point in time were using battery backups for their save data. Now thankfully that annoyance is completely removed if you purchase the game on the 3DS or the Wii U's Virtual Console. The soundtrack might not be quite as memorable as other Capcom classics from the NES like Mega Man 2, but that doesn't mean it's a pushover. In fact, I really like most of the tracks on the game, and especially the first stage theme, which reminds me a lot of Ghosts and Goblins. It's great. The graphics, too, look quite nice and clean with great animation, good sprite work, and some nice detailed backgrounds. There are thematic differences between the stages, which help break up the somewhat repetitive backgrounds from the earlier portions of the game. Overall, Gargoyles Quest 2 is a nice looking game, and one I really wish I could have experienced when it was brand new. As it is now, this was my very first time completing the game, and I can say I am a true believer in the Firebrand trilogy. Go purchase Gargoyles Quest 2 on the NES to experience one of the absolute best hidden gems around.